I'm Tom from Shockbite, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up tasks on your Minecraft Java Edition server. With the new Shockbite control panel, we introduced the new tasks feature, which allows you to automate pretty much anything you want in relation to your server. Now, because of this, it'd be difficult to guide you through the process for every possible task. However, the process reaches fairly self-explanatory and this guide should help you, regardless of what it is that you're trying to automate. For this video in particular, I'll be showing you how to schedule regular server commands. To begin, head to your server's control panel and click the tasks tab on the left hand side. Now, a lot of the default commands are highly editable to your liking. You're going to want to start by clicking the configure button next to the task you'd like to set up. You'll then be prompted with a few options, such as the name of the task, and for me, the command I'd like to be sent. Fill these out. Now, when you've done so, if you don't plan to schedule the task and would prefer to run it manually, you're finished. However, if you do want to schedule it, under the All Tasks section, click Your Tasks and locate the one you'd like to schedule. Next to this, you should see a clock icon. Click it. You'll then be prompted with an Arguments option. If you'd like to edit anything here, feel free. Then press Next Step. Give the schedule a name in the box towards the top, then you'll now be asked when you'd like that task to be scheduled for. It's important to note that the time you see in this section is your local time, not the server's local time. When you've selected the time in which you'd like the first task to be run, you can either schedule it, or if you'd like it to be run automatically at a set interval, check the set interval box and specify how long of a delay you'd like between the tasks. Now press schedule. You should now know how to configure automatic tasks on your server. If you run into any issues or require further assistance, please feel free to let us know in the comments below or by opening a support ticket using the link in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe.